Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Math. This video is going to basically tell you how do we get your kids, your students, whoever you're trying to get to learn multiplication facts, how do you get them to learn them and learn them having fun? And I gave away the secret already. It's having fun. Why? Because if you're just learning multiplication facts from a piece of paper, that's boring, unexciting. What we want to do is we want to get students excited to learn multiplication facts. So this video is going to show you a few techniques that I've used in the past on how to get students to learn these multiplication facts and they don't even realize that they're learning it because they're having so much fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do that right now. Ready? Let's go. Here's what we know. We know kids love games. We know they love to have fun. So what we want to do is make multiplication facts fun and a game. So you have to just find their niche. I mean, come on, let's, let's just be wise about this. So if you have a kid who's trying to learn multiplication facts that loves basketball, let's use what they love to help them learn. So this is one of the games that I've used to help students learn multiplication facts. It helps if you have somebody else that they can compete with or you do it with them. So here's the game. We want to get as many of these paper balls into the basket. You can choose how many you want, but the kids will realize the more multiplication facts that they get right, the closer they can get to the hoop and hopefully have an easier time getting baskets than if they are way back here. So what we have is we have multiplication facts on these cards and what they'll want to do is make sure they get it right so they can keep moving up to get closer to shoot these basketballs. So here's how it works. Have them flip over the first card and go eight times three, uh, 24. Sweet, I get to move on. Next one, six times six, 36. Sweet, they get to move closer. Next one, nine times seven, 63. Look how close I'm getting. Eight times four, 30. Oh, you missed that one. So if they missed it, then they'd have to shoot it from here. Oh, and they'll realize, oh, if I could have just gotten that correct and then gotten that correct, look how close I could have shot my basketball from here. So what we want to do is just make it a fun thing for them to go, oh, like a video game. I can go back, try it again and do better. Let's look at another one. Another thing I know about kids is they just love to race and see how fast they can do things. So what you might do is take those same flashcards with the multiplication facts and just lay them out. Um, have something fun to go with it. Maybe they flip over a card and every second card they have to build something and then move on. And it would be great if they could do this with another student just to have fun. So what we want to do is incorporate their learning multiplication facts with something enjoyable for them. So they don't see this as a chore. They don't see this as, oh, I got to learn this boring multiplication facts, but they get excited. Hey, mom, dad, teacher, can we do this so that I can learn these facts? And then, you know, they, they almost don't even realize they're learning multiplication facts as they do this. So I might lay it out like this, um, break it up with something fun. So that way when they flip over something and they get it right, then they get to move to something fun, keep flipping and so they can get to something else that's fun. So do you see how this is also like another video game where they just progress and move on as they go? Let's go to the next one. Another thing you can do is, again, another game, if you guys have noticed the theme here, um, is you can do something like um, matching where, or memory, as they might call it, where you might lay out cards with the multiplication facts and your son, daughter, student, whoever this might be, have to get matching pairs so they might flip over seven times five and go oh man where, where was the match for that and the match would be the answer to that multiplication fact and obviously their job is to collect as many pairs as they can so again something to make them just get their mind off of oh i gotta learn this and they're connecting it to something fun so what we want to do when they're learning multiplication facts, again, to kind of recap and review, let's stay away from the, oh, you must sit here and memorize this sheet of multiplication facts. Not fun, boring, unexciting. We want to connect 
a game. We want to connect something fun. We want to connect maybe something competitive so that they it gets their mind off of I'm learning this more to the fact that I'm having fun learning this. So maybe you guys can, in the comment section, let me know if any of these things might help. Um, but hopefully it does because whenever students have fun learning something, they'll make that connection and usually have some confidence and feel like this is really cool. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Math. Thanks for watching.